Hi and welcome to The Running Channel. I'm Anna and today, along with Andy, we're gonna be running through the best running sunglasses on the market right now, no matter what your budget. Yes, whether you're looking for style, the ultimate in protection, or just something light enough that you don't even notice them when you're on your run, then we've got you covered. We split them up into three price categories. We're gonna start with the cheapest, which is under 50 pounds, then 50 to 100 pounds, and then 100 pounds plus. We're gonna dive in, but before we do, if you're new around here, please do hit subscribe and tap the bell icon to be notified when we upload new videos all about running, which we do every week. So we'll look at the sunglasses in just a sec, but first of all, we wanted to run through a few key features and what the terms mean when it comes to choosing the right sunglasses for you. So first off is polarization. So polarized sunglasses are most effective at reducing glare. Some cheaper ones will potentially use a layer of laminate over one side of the lens, which is effective but can sometimes scratch off. More expensive polarized lenses though tend to have a separate film encased within the lens itself and therefore it's less likely to get damaged. There are five categories of lenses which broadly speaking indicate how much light they let through, ranging from category zero where they let through almost all light and that's basically used for things like safety glasses, right the way up to category four which will let through less than 10% of light and actually might be too dark for things like driving. So that means that most of the lenses we're going to look at in this roundup are category three. You can also look at it the other way around using something called VLT, which is visible light transmission, where 1% would mean that you let almost no light through at all. They'd be very dark glasses, right the way up to 100%, which would be completely clear lenses. One final thing to consider when looking at buying sunglasses is the amount of UV protection that they offer. So those are the harmful UVA and UVB rays. If sunglasses come with a rating of UV 400, it means that they block 99 to 100% of UVA and UVB rays. It's also worth noting that unlike with the cheaper polarization of some sunglasses, that UV protection is built into the lens and therefore doesn't degrade over time. Right, let's check out some sunnies. I need them. These are the Gooder OGs. Now there's no denying that Gooder sunglasses are incredibly good value. At 25 pounds, these are the cheapest on test, but I don't think they suffer for it either in performance or style. There are a number of different frame styles that you can choose from. These are the OGs or original glasses. You can also get things like the Mac Gs and Circle Gs, so slightly different stylized versions of very similar glasses. One thing I really like about Gooder is that they have a lot of fun with their brand and the names of their different frames and combination of lens and frame colors always have some kind of crazy name. So these are the, the Swedish meatball hangover. So make of that what you will. All of Gooder's sunglasses come with polarized lenses, but you can also opt for gradient lenses where they're slightly darker at the top. They're also all UV 400 rated, which means they protect you from 100% of the harmful UVA and UVB rays. So Gooda claim that they're no slip and no bounce. And I'd have to agree, I've done quite a lot of runs in these and I've never had any trouble with that. They're coated in a sort of slightly rubberized finish all over, which means that they don't move on your nose and they don't move against your temple either. So a really nice fit. And to add to that, they fit slightly far enough away from your face that there's enough airflow that they don't fog up either. So a bonus on both counts. They do also have a bigger version for people with wider or larger faces. So worth bearing that in mind as well. And a top tip for wearing this style of sunglasses or actually any style of sunglasses really, if you head into a dark area, so maybe you go from the bright sunlight into some, the shade of some woods, popping them up on the top of your head can feel like they're gonna fall off and you might lose them and damage the frames in some way or the lenses. But actually, if you just turn them around, pop them on your head this way around, you might feel a bit silly, but they'll fit a lot closer to your head and won't fall off. You could easily get away with wearing DHB's Clark Revo lens for casual wear rather than just running. So these sunglasses come in a hard-ish case uh, with a cleaning cloth in as well. So for the price that these ones are, I was really pleasantly surprised at how nicely they fit. They don't bounce around or move around too much, but there's nothing fancy to them. There's no adjustable nose pieces or side grips that we'll get onto on some of the more expensive models later on in this review. If you're anything like me and tend to lose or break lots of pairs of sunglasses whilst out running, then the cheaper the better for me. And for DHB's price point and the way that they look, the way that they feel when you run in them, I was really overall pleasantly surprised by DHB's Clark Revo glasses. 
these are the Provis Classic Tour. Now, Provis are known for their bright and colorful cycling and running gear that's reflective as well. And these are no different in their bright yellow colorway. But if you are looking for something slightly more understated, they do also come in plain black. They come in a lightweight polycarbonate frame, along with adjustable nose pads and grippers along the sides to keep them firmly attached to your head when you're running. The smoke lenses are great on really bright, sunny days, and they also have an anti-fog treatment to stop them steaming up. Additionally, they have a hydrophobic treatment as well, so if you do get caught in a shower, then hopefully the water should just bead right off. Styling-wise, compared to some of the other models on test, these are unashamedly sports-focused and probably something you want to take into account depending on where you might want to wear them outside of running or cycling. And actually, if you are interested in cycling, these do have the option of interchangeable lenses. So if you wanted to take out the darker lenses and pop in a clearer lens for lower light days to protect you from flies and so on, you might want that for a run too, then consider these. Sunski is a brand that I hadn't heard of before this video, but having looked into the company, for the purposes of this video, I've been really impressed by their ethos. So they have five main priorities when it comes to their sunglasses, and a lot of them are factored around sustainability. So Sunski sunglasses come with a lifetime guarantee, so if you break them, you can send them back to be fixed. Their packaging as well is lovely. It comes in recycled cardboard, and they use clever origami folds so that they don't use any glue on them as well, making them completely recyclable. I absolutely love the style of these sunglasses. They could be another pair that I would happily wear to the beach, out with friends or on a dog walk and not feel like I was wearing specific sporty glasses like some designs can be. Sunski also have a pretty cool virtual try-on on their website, which means that you can have a look to see if they suit you before ordering them. It is worth noting with these that this company is based in San Francisco. So if you live anywhere else in the world that isn't the US, then they do come with a pretty hefty delivery charge. That said, it is something that they're looking to work on with other suppliers. So watch this space if Sunski takes your fancy and you're not based in the States. These are the third iteration of the Sun God Classics. And every element of the Custom Classics is chosen by you. So that's the color of the frame, the lens, and the icon, as well as the opacity of the lens and whether they're polarized or not. All of the lenses offer 100% UV protection. And as part of the customization process, you're given advice on the suitability of the different types of lens for different light conditions. It's also worth noting that all of the customization options are completely free of charge, which is a massive bonus. One of the best things about the Sun God brand, something I'm really excited about, is the lifetime guarantee that they offer against breakage. Obviously, some T's and C's apply, but ultimately it's a great thing, particularly in the current throwaway culture, to try and come away from that. We've had some really good reports from our community as well about Sun God honoring that lifetime guarantee. The classics are marketed as adventure proof, made of something called a TR90 polymer, which provides a good deal of flex and rebound, as tested genuinely by my four-year-old son, so I can attest to that being true. I've run in these quite a few times, and whilst they're made of what feels like a slightly slippery material compared to something like the Gouda, which is slightly rubberized, I didn't have any issue at all with them moving around. So that combined with the styling, the choice of colors and customization, and the lifetime guarantee make these really good value in my opinion. Valen is another brand that I hadn't heard of till now. It's a family owned business that was founded by two Swedish brothers who wanted to make some cool sunglasses, mostly for ski touring. So this is a bit of a curveball option because they haven't actually made any sunglasses specific for running. That said, this particular model does do well when you're running. So the thing that I like the most about these sunglasses is that they come with an adjustable elasticated strap that goes behind your head, which means when you have them on your head, they don't fall off. It does get sweaty, but the strap is detachable so you can wash it separately. They also come in a really stylish case too. So these do look like your general pair of sunglasses, but they are built for performance. The rectangular aviator style design means that they're more curved at the edges, which stops light coming in at the sides. Now I tried these out on an interval session on a pretty chilly but bright day. And one thing that I will note is that they did fog up a little bit. So perhaps not ideal for colder 
sessions when you're going to get very hot and sweaty if you want to see where you're going. Although with a handy strap, you can just put them on your head out of the way. So overall, you might have already gathered by now from some of the sunglasses that I've been running through. I do like my sunglasses to look stylish and something that I can wear both out and about and on my runs. I don't want to look like I'm an extra in Star Trek. So these ones really hit the spot. These are another offering from Sun God, the Valans or the Valan, if I'm going to take a stab at the French pronunciation because they're based in the French Alps. And I know that these are going to be a little bit more divisive style-wise, but personally, I love them. They provide so much protection from the sun, but they are obviously in a slightly more expensive price bracket. There's no denying that with the styling and the amount of face coverage, these are firmly aimed at cyclists, but they're increasingly becoming more popular with runners too. And I'm a convert to running with something with this much protection. They come with four different sizes of nose pads. So basically you can swap those out until you get the perfect fit. And those nose pads and the ear socks are made from something called hydrophilic rubber, which basically means they stay put and don't move when they're on your face. The lenses have a triple layer of scratch protection to help avoid against those scratches. And like all Sun God models, they come with that lifetime guarantee we mentioned earlier, something to give you that extra little bit of peace of mind. You've also got the option of a top frame only, where the lenses are suspended beneath the top frame, or a full frame version like we've got here, but the full frame version is slightly more expensive. I appreciate the styling's not gonna to be to everybody's taste, but if you're looking for something that's gonna be pretty much bulletproof in a sporting context, then these are worth considering. Over the past decade, the Oakley radar has been favored by cyclists, but it is now becoming even more popular with runners too. The EV in their name stands for expanded view and that's actually something for cyclists to bear in mind because it means that when you've got your head in the down position when you're cycling you have a little bit of extra protection higher up on the lens to stop the sun from coming through. There are 25 different colour options with these and the types of lens is interchangeable too so you can pick whatever kind of lens that you want for the conditions that you're going to be out in. These particular ones are polarised but there are tons of different options on the Oakley website to choose from. I was quite surprised that the Oakleys, given their price, only come with a soft sleeve to keep them in and not a hard case to protect them. And they're not particularly my style personally, but I know plenty of people who do prefer their sports sunglasses to look sporty. These are the Roca Phantom Titanium. Now Roca are better known for their wetsuits in the triathlon world, but they also make some pretty stylish, in my opinion, sports sunglasses too. Now the aviator style of the Phantoms looks quite fragile, but I don't have any concerns at all about the durability of these. In fact, this particular model is a titanium version and they do feel really solid. There's no disputing the fact that these do come at a pretty hefty price though, and there is a cheaper version, the Phantom Alloy, which doesn't use titanium. They have what Roka call their patented Gecko Fit technology, inspired by the sticky feet of the Gecko, and that's on the temple pads and on the nose pads as well. And so whilst these aren't a particularly tight fit, they do feel really snug. They don't move around at all when you're running. So that's quite a nice way of staying comfortable, but having the confidence that even as you get sweaty, they're not gonna move around. They're incredibly lightweight too, at only 19 grams. And actually in the titanium version, there are a combination of four different types of lenses or frames that you can go for. There's even more of a choice in the cheaper alloy version too. Now, I definitely don't know whether I'm cool enough to pull off the aviator look on a run, but I really love these. They're incredibly light. I didn't even notice them when I was out on a run, but there is no getting away from that pretty hefty price tag. So perhaps you might want to take into account the fact that you can wear them in almost any setting, whether that's casual, down at the pub, on holiday, or ultimately out on the run, which is what you're buying them for in the first place. District Vision lenses are engineered in Japan and the company's done a lot of research based on eye strain caused by physical exertion. So they've based their lens technology around what they found. These glasses are super lightweight. They're as light as a feather. And although they are incredibly light, they are pretty indestructible as well. So the company itself does a lot of research into eye health using athletes in New York and basing their technology in Japan. It's a really fascinating story behind the company. So during a really sweaty run, these stayed in place with the help of the nose and side grips and they didn't fog up at all. They are super duper light. In fact, with them on my head, I can't actually feel that 
they're there right now. They come in a microfiber pouch and actually I really quite like the style of these ones. So if you're looking for a slightly pricier pair of sunglasses, then District Vision might be the ones for you. So which would be my favorite pair of sunglasses if you push me to make a choice and put my money where my mouth is? Well, in the past, I was really focused on technical performance sunglasses when I was racing and competing at a serious level. And from this roundup, my pick of those would probably be the Sun God Vela. But ultimately, right now, I prefer a more versatile pair of sunglasses. And so for me, it's a toss up between the Gouda OGs and the Sun God Classics. Now the Sun Gods are more expensive, but you do get that lifetime guarantee. And I really like the fact that you could customize them. So I think they would be my choice. So my favorite pair is the Valens uh, Howling. I absolutely love the style of these. I think they look really, really classy. They're definitely something that I can see myself out on dog walks wearing or going and meeting friends in the park, as well as them staying put. I think it's the elastic band, which seems so simple, but is so effective. That's what, what really does it for me with these ones. I like to be able to keep them in place. If you're running on the trails and you need to pop your glasses is up because it's too dark in the shade and you want to see where you're going then you know these aren't going to budge and I've lost many a pair of sunglasses when they have fallen off my head so for me it's Valen Howlin all the way. Are there any of the glasses that we've reviewed that take your fancy or maybe have a favorite pair already that you're dying to let the community know about? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you next time on the running channel.